If your anaconda doesn't launch properly, this short tutorial might help you fix the problem. I installed the anaconda distribution using the official installer, which is going to install Python version 3.9 and a 64-bit version. Because I'm already using a Python version 3.9 on my computer and I don't want Anaconda to mess with my global Python settings, so I unchecked these boxes during installation. After a few minutes when the installation completed, I also got this confirmation saying that the installation was successful. However, when I try to open the Anaconda Navigator, a black screen shows up and disappears very quickly. At this point, I was able to open the Anaconda prompt, which is kind of like the Windows command prompt, except that we can run the conda commands in there. So I tried to update conda by running the command conda update conda, and that also failed to run. And the error message was import error dll load failed while importing shell so if you have trouble opening up the anaconda navigator and also have this error message it's likely that you might have the pywin32 python library installed on your computer already which is causing the problem for anaconda to check that bring up the command prompt type pip show pywin32 and this should display the details of this library if you already have it installed. In my case, I have the version 304 installed and this is causing the problem for Anaconda to work properly. Now we have two options to fix the problem. The first one is that we can remove the pywin32 library completely and we just need to type pip uninstall pywin32 in the comment prompt. The second option is to downgrade pywin32 library to a prior version that doesn't cause problem for Anaconda and that version is 228. Since I still need to use the pywin32 library for other things, this is the option I'm going to take. And to downgrade a Python library, we can do that in the comment prompt and we just need to type pip in install dash dash upgrade followed by the library name which is pywin32 then double equal sign and then followed by the library version number we, we want to use which is 228 this command will remove the current installed version whatever that is then it will install the version 228 that we specified in the argument once this is done go back to our windows menu and open up anaconda navigator again now it should be working Let's take a look around and test a few things to make sure they all work. The Jupyter Notebook opens no problem. VS Code Editor can also open. And the Spider IDE also works. Alright, I hope this helped you fix the Anaconda problem. And that is all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.